Hey guys, Marty Smith here for Academy Sports and Outdoors. As many of you know, over the past several years, we've brought you compelling stories from the outdoors space. We've gone fishing all over creation. We've gone hiking, kayaking, we've gone to the rodeo, we've even wrestled bulls, and we've loved every second of it. And we know you've enjoyed it too. So this year, we have a new wrinkle, sports traditions, where we'll bring you stories of hope and stories of purpose within the sports world. We'll interview the people and we'll show you the sports that kickstart fun by inspiring play. Come on, check it out. It's been a long time since I stepped into a high school to play any kind of sport. But had the sport I'm about to try been around when I was in high school a thousand years ago, I'd have been all about it. I arrived at Lexington Catholic High School in Lexington, Kentucky to meet a man who's taken his passion for ultimate frisbee and created an inspiring community of belonging. For Academy Sports and Outdoors, I'm Marty Smith, and this is Traditions. Hey, how you doing, Marty? Marty Smith, good I'm to David see you, Wu. brother. Awesome to meet you. Terrific right. having you here. It's great to be here. I can't wait to learn how to do this and show all these youngins what kind of game I have. Look at them. Let's see what I got. You ready? Yes. All right, give him a cut, give him a cut, go. I'm you a, got good touch. It's a little, little nervous. That a girl, let it ride. Walk me through the path of how you found passion nice. for Ultimate Frisbee and started this program mentoring young people through the game. My earliest memory, I think, was maybe an elementary school class, and I'm not even sure we were playing Ultimate Frisbee, but somebody hucked it long, and little sixth grade me started running for the disc. I was pretty shy back then with my glasses and my braces thinking, they're gonna laugh at me if I don't catch this. <laughs> so I'm going full speed, and I'm thinking, there is no way I'm getting to that disc. Well, apparently it was going into the wind, so it slowed down a bit, and I ran, I stumbled, I stuck my arm out, caught the disc and fell, and just had this feeling of joy. This is Marty Smith. How you guys doing? My name's Marty, good to see you guys. I really love the spirit of the game. That's part of the rules where you make your own calls, sort of like golf, there's this integrity. All right, it's a lot of pressure. There are no refs, or rarely, professionally now there are refs. Well, that's getting picked off, that was terrible. Most competitive games are self-called. You call yourself in or out, you ask for, for perspective. If I'm playing against you and I land and I don't see if I'm in or out, I can ask you for perspective. Bank it! Oh. And most ultimate players abide by that code of conduct. The key is to throw it, don't aim it. And so I love that, you know, camaraderie and just making friends with teammates and opponents. So, have you seen a hammer before? No. You guys cut for Camden's hammer, go. Holy smokes! So you Good threw catch. it upside down. Wow, man, you like the Tom Brady of Frisbee. How did your program start? So here, I got hired at go Lexington Catholic in uh, 2001 and you know I love playing ultimate frisbee so the selfish motivation was I wanted to play. Uh, if I tried that I'd throw it straight in the ground. So I'm not a traditional coach. I, I do the drills with the kids and I play unless there's an odd number then I sit out reluctantly. You, you have it like this, right? Go! See, I told you that's See, what's going to happen. See, you want to aim like, uh, <laughs> aim like, okay. yeah, and the kids love burning me because uh, getting slow. And if you're the coach, of course they want to yeah, burn you. Of course. Aim high. There you go. Y'all know about me and football. I'm ripping it. Frisbee is the same. My fault, man. Although the technique and arm talent are questionable. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I've already learned that I got a lot of work to do with my hammer throw. <laughs> or sledgehammer or whatever they call it. But catching, I'm, I'm all right with that. As long as I don't blow out my hammy. Let that thing eat, big dog. Oh, good read, good read. Maybe I'm not that good at catching. The only reason to practice is to prepare for games. Yeah, Camden. So I guess I should have seen this coming. Nice! Do you want to play a little, just a short little yeah. in here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! All right, let's go. Let's see how this goes. One. Early days, there weren't many high school teams you had to go out of the state, so we played colleges, we played other adult teams. 
2005, we actually won a few small college tournaments, and that was just such a rush to take high school kids. <laughs> The high school team, yeah. UB college teams. Yeah, and a lot of that was... gratifying. <laughs> I was substantially lost throughout that entire exchange. And uh, part of that is a lot of, in the early days, a lot of the colleges didn't have coaches. So just having a coach to, you know, tell a kid, hey, stop turning the disc over, you know, <laughs> throw a shorter pass, I mean, that, that went a long way. I suddenly remembered I was a point guard once. Thread a needle, baby. <laughs> Good game, guys. Oh Marty, you got to score an assist. These days, kids need structure. They do. Structure is extremely beneficial. And if they're not athletes in another sport, you're offering them that in a lot of ways. You got to be accountable to be here at this time. You have to be accountable to prepare properly. Uh, it is an honor system. And so there's a lot of accountability involved in that. Yeah, you did pretty well out there, oh, man. Thanks, man. I Hamstrings it. are intact. Picked it. Everything's intact. I still have my knees. I got my ankles. I got my hammies. That's a big win. It's cool how it incorporates so many different disciplines into the one sport. Yeah, I fully agree. My ideal player is a quarterback, is a point guard, point guard maybe man. a defensive back, maybe a shortstop. Ooh, if they can see the lanes and if they can lead the pass, if they can read the D, I mean, Basically, and the disc can move so slow, yeah. you know, you can really put it in the space if you throw it slow. I feel like the kids that really get the spirit of the game and that integrity and making the fair call, not just what I want, um, that goes a long way in relationships and just in society, you know, you get in a fender bender and if you've been playing ultimate frisbee for four years, you're going to try to be objective. You're not going to come out of the car screaming at the other person, <laughs> hopefully. Maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Time to take it outside and turn it up a notch. Out here, the best players in the city convene. This embodies David's influence on the community. Yep. David, there are 50 people out here. But what's it like to see all of these young people having purpose together and fellowship together because of your passion? For kids to enjoy what I enjoy, just like exponentially amplifies that. Taking people from different backgrounds, different upbringings, maybe different socioeconomic stand standing or whatnot, and making them one. Yeah. That's the whole thing right there. Yeah. Hey guys on the sideline, get ready to sub in after this. Hey, let's go. Guys. I've scouted the opposition closely. I have a decent idea who's what. Time to see if I'm any good at it. But being out here with so much more space to move, you might have better opportunity for, what do you call them? Cuts. Layouts. Layouts. There layouts. You go. I'm sort of fearful of a layout with my old man right shoulder. All right, my friends, I'm with y'all. Does Academy sell Icy Hot? <laughs> I know they have biofreeze, so we better get some. How far is that? So you have an end zone that's uh, 20 yards by 40 and then the, the front of the end zone to the other front is 70, so you have uh, 110 yards from back to back. If somebody throws it and it doesn't get caught, is it the other team's yes. Frisbee to pick up and throw? Okay. Yep. I'm already gassed. Oh, I'm supposed to be down there? Yeah. I'm still working on the rules. You can't run with the disc. Once you catch it, you have to stop and establish a pivot foot, like when you stop dribbling. Basketball, okay. Yeah. You don't have to intercept it on defense. If you throw it to a teammate, the other person can knock it down. Again, the rules. I'm running away when I'm supposed to check the Frisbee. Oh, are we on offense? We have the ball. I'm slowly catching on. Like right here, for example. Once I realized we were actually on offense, I made a play. I mean, was that like a nice play? I threw a nice little pass there. If you're not of the belief that each person is deserving of respect, I think that is a fundamental first step 
I'm gonna respect this person that I think I'm faster than, or that is taller or older, or of a different race, or a different gender, you know, field. And I feel like the times that I haven't respected people on the field have been the times I've been burned the worst. <laughs> no. We decided to throw a go route. I took off as hard as I could for a scoring strike. And then I needed some oxygen. I'm gonna take a breather for just one second. How does it impact you? Oh man, it just brings joy. Uh, being the coach of this team, um, after teaching here 20 years, um, it's a big reason why I come in every day. I mean, I love the classroom, but I love the field as much, if not sometimes more than the classroom. So it's a big passion and motivation for me. Keeps me young with the kids, okay. just laughing, running, sweating, making ethical calls, um, trying to build that character. Um, you know, love it. Dave is responsible for countless people finding the sport of ultimate Frisbee. Many that have gone on to play in college and also founded a team that won a national amateur championship. And I'm so grateful. The spirit that you guys have and the passion that you have for the spirit of your game is infectious. End of the day brings a spirit circle, during which teams recognize players who display the true spirit of Ultimate Frisbee. I was fortunate to be recognized and gifted a bottle of AL8, a local soda, and Lexington staple. And lest we forget Goldie, the howling mascot. Ultimate Frisbee is a beautiful game. But most importantly, it's an open door towards a wonderful camaraderie, which itself is the beauty of sport.